<laughs> so what we're going to do here today is I am going to give a demonstration of memory reconsolidation. Yes. And I have Diana here who has volunteered to be the model so you can see how it works. And first I'm going to describe what memory reconsolidation is. And my description is probably not going to make any sense to anybody at all until we do it with Diana. And you see her mind like shift smoke coming out of her ears and all that stuff, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, yeah. once we do that, then I'm going to unpack what I did and you will get a very crystal clear understanding of what I mean by memory reconsolidation. So memory reconsolidation to me is the same process as rewriting a memory. It's how you rewrite a memory. And it takes three steps, very simple, three steps. Step number one is recall a memory. Whatever memory it is, it could be a memory of the future, it could be a memory of the past, just recall a memory. Step number two is to interrupt the memory from interrupt the emotional expression that's attached to the memory. So just remember the memory, but don't become too emotional when you remember it. So remember it and then interrupt it. And then step three is adding new reference material, adding new material that is related, and that material will be used to rewrite the memory. So that's the three-step process in order to reconsolidate a memory. And as I said, that will begin to make more sense right now when I start the process with Deanna. So, Deanna, do you have a memory of something somebody told you that kind of bothers you? I don't need to know what it is. Yes. Okay. And before you say yes, that you would like to feel different about. Absolutely. Okay, good. So remember what this person said for a moment. Do you feel it? How do you feel? Do, do you feel that emotion when you remember it? Yeah, it's like a very strong block that, that keeps pulling me down. Okay, so okay, so stop. Me in space and I cannot move forward. Okay, stop. Okay, so, so look at me. Now, the you're saying words to yourself in your mind or, or you're yeah. remembering what this person said. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to say those same exact words in your mind but with a different tonality. I want you to say it, repeat it like this. I don't like this. <laughs> That's what I just had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered this one time when you had this, this black lady on there going like, we don't need that shit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so, so remember her voice and put it, remember what this person said but exactly like with this lady's tonality. And do it once and tell me when you've done it once. There you go. Do it again. Okay, now, 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 <laughs> perfect. Now, I want you to do it three times really fast. Oh, God. Okay, this is crazy. Yeah? That's, three times? Yeah, one more time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Oh, you mean like in between? I already did like three times. Okay, do it one more time. Okay. One more time. Okay. Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do is... I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Um, what is your name? What is your name spelled backwards? Do you know it? My name spelled backwards. Yeah. Anai. So, tell me the word. Tell me the letters. Letter for letter. Yeah, it's um, A N A I D. How about your last name spelled backwards? It's S I W E L. Good. So you know how to do it. You do it well. So you don't you don't need me to teach you what I was going to teach you because you already did it in your mind. I saw you did yeah. it. You read it. You, you read it, right? It would have been faster if I was. Yep. So now here's what I, that was a break state, by the way. Now remember what this person told you now, and see how you, see how it is. Is it the same or is it different? It's not. It's better, but it's still there. Uh, what the person said. You There's mean, still a remnant of that negative emotion. Is it less? It's much less. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. 
Do it again. Okay. Do it three times really fast. <laughs> Don't remember it exactly like this when you remember what that person has said. So that whenever you remember what that person has said, you just remember this voice and stuff. Okay. So now. See that now for the next time I won't be exploding into a <laughs> so, 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 is it safe to say that this is a little bit different when you remember it now? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit different. Okay, do it again. Try to remember how it used to be. Is different? It's different and it's kind of hard to be reached to that. Time. Okay. Do, try it again one more time just, just so that. So you laughed. You just laughed. Okay. <laughs> so what we have just witnessed Deanna do is she has reconsolidated a memory. And all we did was number one, we had her recall the memory. What was the thing the person said to her? And then I, I had her, I told her, stop, with a very strong stop voice. And I told her, look at me. So what I did, what I did there, I interrupted her so that she wouldn't think too much about it. So I wanted her to think about something else. And then, so step one is recall the memory. Step two was interrupt it. Step three was adding new material. And the new material that we added was a different type of sound to the voice. And this material was used to rewrite the memory. And then I had to rehearse it again and again and again. And then what that did is that reconsolidated the memory. And now the memory is shifted forever. That particular memory feels different. So that is an example of memory reconsolidation. Or how I like to say it is it kind of freaks people out. That is how you rewrite a memory. 